I, I guess it's well attuned with Chainsaw Man's like way of doing things. I, I, I didn't figure that this dude was going to train them in such a absurd way. Like, but what I was expecting was just some like super vigorous, like intensive, like combat training. This is a level beyond that. Because this character, this new guy, I don't think we've got a name for him yet. Someone corrected me and said that he's the one that taught Makima. We saw him earlier in the series, but this is, you know, now where he's going to be really relevant. Uh, I don't think he's going to give him a name. I think that was also part of the reason why, like, his name was interrupted last chapter to kind of keep it, like, uh, questionable. But at the same time, this dude is absolutely insane. Like, this is hilarious in uh, in so many ways because it... It makes so much sense, but it really could only work in Chainsaw Man as this dude. Uh, seemingly, he, he broke uh, Denji and Power's necks while he, like, went in for that intensive hug. But he's pretty much, like, giving them, like, the basic, like, layouts of his plan because, like, he's like, oh, uh, though the difference between you guys and, you know, humans, and he takes out a little thing of blood, uh, pours it in their mouth, and then they're good as new. It's because they can heal themselves off of in taking human blood that you know being one of the aspects about uh, uh the devils uh, we know is we don't know the full extent uh but what we do know is we got a little bit from this chapter uh denji is seemingly immortal or as powers like uh, semi-immortal that explain obviously why denji can get completely chopped up into pieces and get healed I'm wondering if maybe that raw immortality is why the gun devil wants him, or if there's something more than that. Maybe that's one of the things that made the chainsaw devil so uh, powerful, and maybe fear, lusted after, who knows? There's obviously a lot of questions in that area, but from this, we got, like, the explanation of why he, you know, he broke their necks and then is going about this, is he, he talks about, like, he's the strongest devil hunter, which, again, very interested to know of, because... That's a lot of hype for this dude, because it should mean he's stronger than Makima, or at least maybe as of, like, the last time they fought, or whatever that could be. That's, like, hype for this character, but at the same time, given the author, that's a, a death flag, you already worried about this dude. Don't even have a name for him yet. Already worried about him. But he explains, because he's trained a bunch of devil hunters, he's never trained a devil, that the reason that he's, uh that he did that is part of his plan because what he's going to do is like he's going to hunt them like you know every single day until like they're strong enough to defeat him so this adds such an extra level of of interest to the series because you imagine if this isn't going to be the focus like this isn't going to be a training arc he literally it's like you guys are going to go about normal arcs but i could show up at any point and just attack you it, it could be like halfway through the next arc you know some battle and and denji's like oh i gotta i gotta do this thing in order to beat this bad guy and then it's like sweet i did it but then like out of nowhere this dude just looms out of the shadows and stabs the fuck out of him and he's like lesson 62 rookie and he just like gives him a, gives him like some some like uh advice on you know how, how to better himself in that situation then leaves this dude it's it adds such an again such a, a level of craziness, I think, to the series. Because for one, like not only is he adding this extra layer again of craziness, but he himself is clearly very strong. Like he just completely wrecks Denji in power at the same time. It's like dodges a hammer attack from Denji, stabs him multiple times in the back, stabs him right through the head, and then proceeds to slit Power's throat. And he's he's kind of happy about it because like, he says like he's always been really strong since he was little. And so he broke a lot of his toys, so he always wanted indestructible toys. And now he's got, like, an immortal and a, a borderline immortal to work with. And now he's just gonna, like, have himself a good old fun time. It's like, Power and Denji are just, like, laying bleeding out on the floor like an agony. And this dude's just like, it's gonna keep coming. You guys are gonna, it, you don't know. You have no idea of the level of horribleness this is gonna be. But it's gonna be horrible. Then meanwhile, you get back to Aki and then, uh... These other guys, what was it, uh, Ten Tendo and Karose, or, uh, wh whatever, they're, they're not too relevant yet, they have names at least, but, uh, now they're, like, conversing with, uh, with Aki, and Aki is just, like, he can't use, uh, the fox, uh, devil anymore, he's probably mad at him, because he, like, the dude got his face chopped open and went against the, the Yakuza devil, uh, hybrid, but he's... Come on, Aki wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that guy's going to be some form of hybrid. 
but from that like he's he's like talking to these dudes about like uh some of the people that survived the fourth division that attack you know went into private sectors you know some of them just straight up quit the like there, there's only a handful of them left and it's you know getting dangerous they need they're getting into the slow point maybe after this arc they can like start like getting new recruits again but they're like oh you know are you gonna stay in this uh you, you still in this and he's like well the devil that killed not only now my family but also my friends he's talking about you know Meno, sad faces there he's like well, how would i quit in that amount of time or in that uh in, in this situation plus he's only got two years left like he's he's not wanting to live out two years of just like comfort he wants to uh to get the job done and, and to get really serious about this uh now about that is he's gonna go have to go find a new like more powerful curse spirit or curse spirit devil uh, then the cursed devil seemingly at least maybe like more powerful than the fox devil maybe not as crazy as the cursed devil the cursed devil he seems like an extra layer like he's clearly op but back then you know getting to denji and power who were like beaten and just like left there in that area uh just absolutely agony. like denji says like he, he'd been killed 20 times at least today and they're just like i don't really know what we're gonna do that guy's way too strong for us but damn it because they were power realizes that like the dude like drinks a lot so he's always kind of like inebriated by alcohol but at the same time she's like then what we need to do is we need to outsmart him <laughs> and then it's like yeah you could do that but these two characters are there's no way because power is straight dumb denji denji i would say is more ineducated or uneducated why did i say ineducated uneducated because I, I feel like he's one of these characters that he wouldn't be, if he like went to school, I don't think he'd be a genius, but I don't think he'd be this dumb. I think that like he just doesn't, he just hasn't had any form of like teachings or learning like opportunities. He could probably like evolve to like a, you know, maybe a pretty good character, like in terms of intelligence later on the line when he gets more experience with like life and situations and all these different things. Power, power just, I feel like she just doesn't have a high intellect. I feel like she's just dumb. But like that's what I like that fact about her. I like that she's this overly violent, very stupid, like <laughs> almost like a bloodthirsty animal, just like quelled though most of the time, but anytime ready just to kill. And she just doesn't care about humans. It, she's an interesting female lead for sure, especially in a Shonen Jump series, like 100%. But other than that, uh, drop a comment below and we thought about this chapter. Nice setup. Again, this this training method is. It, it it feels right at home with Chainsaw Man, just the way that the series is, and it's it's like oh, uh, we're just gonna we're gonna keep fighting you until your your immortality gets buffed. Like looking at uh, something like UQ Holder or Seven Deadly Sins, you know, it was like oh, well, we're gonna do these kind of like heavy training methods in order to increase your immortality. Whereas this dude just like I'm gonna use your guys' immortality to fuck with you until you're not shit, and <laughs> you just gonna apparently chase him around and beat the fuck out of him. Could you imagine also at the same time, like, if these two were, like, at a restaurant, they were just getting lunch, and then just, like, out from the rafters of this place comes this dude, stabs the shit out of him, kills him, and then people are freaking out, and he's like, don't worry, official business, they'll be fine, don't worry, and then just leaves. There's, it, it offers so much more of an interesting place. Especially, like, could you imagine, like, the the regular places Power and Denji go to, and this is normal, and then just, like, he jumps down again and stabs them on there, just like, oh, is it Tuesday again? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they got stabbed to death. I'll get a mop. Hang on. And again, it, 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 Chainsaw Man, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, absolutely ridiculous. I, I love this series. It's, it's so much fun to go at. Recommend it highly. Still recommend it to anybody that uh, that hasn't yet, or you should recommend your friends uh, check it out. I'm trying to go to my friends right now to to pick it up. But other than that, uh, uh, I really appreciate it if you drop a comment below in the comment section and you know, tell me what you thought about the chapter. And befriend the like button, you know, thumbs up there too. Befriend the like button and subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But other than that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed, and I thank you all for listening. Bye.